and we're back live from ThinksCon 2017, live from Amsterdam. Uh, the whole afternoon we've been talking to people that were here uh, giving talks and uh, uh, doing sessions. And uh, now we're here with uh, two of the organizers uh, to do a little bit of a wrap up. We have uh, Iskander from Info, we have Marshall from The Incredible Machine. The Incredible Machine. So um, uh, let me start at first. I mean, you're both organizers uh, uh, of this conference. Uh, um, what is your connection with IoT? Ooh, uh, interests, doing, uh, doing uh, research, doing uh, experiments, uh, experimental work with it. Uh, yeah, uh, but long time interested in the, the topic uh, as a designer, as a maker, as a, yeah. What about you, Marcel? Yeah, I came from a maker background and then slowly moved into doing like gigs for uh, big companies to explore what IoT meant for them. And, you know, that's where the interest came from, always experimenting. And, and nowadays we're focusing on doing responsible IoT, which is like the topic of the conference. So, Iskander, um, this is the third time in Amsterdam? Fourth. Fourth. Fourth, Fourth time in yeah. Amsterdam. Yeah. Uh, every time it's uh, bigger and better. Uh, share some mm -hmm. numbers. How many people, how many uh, speakers? Oh, I don't know exactly. Uh, no, there were 36 sessions at least, and uh, speakers and sessions, workshops. We had two, two full days this year for the, this time, for the first, year, uh, first time. So, uh, complete done first day and complete Friday, more, even more sessions. And yeah, the sessions are always the most popular, I think, also most interesting, uh, how people really like to, to, to dive into the, the topic and, uh, and uh, yeah, get together. It's really a kind of a community that, uh, that, that yeah, that's what you also felt in the, in, the, in the closing words from everyone, that, uh, that everyone felt that it's really yeah, a close community thinking about these topics. And, uh, all right. So one of the main topics, uh, Marcel, was uh, uh, talking about responsible uh, uh, design, talking about uh, well, uh, privacy, uh, uh, ethics, and by design, etc., etc. Um, obviously, when you think about that, when you start a conference, you hope that this is really be the, the, the talk of the town. Uh, uh, was that the case? Well, what we. Well, you could approach this from two different angles. You could either say, uh, did we manage to um, kind of inf like impose that kind of themes um, uh, in the conference and uh, onto the audience? But um, we see that the audience already comes in with these questions, this interest in these topics. Of course, we advertise that this is the, the, the topic for the conference. But a lot of people that are involved with developing technology or applying technology or teaching about technology, they feel this kind of unease with the status quo in, in how we apply technology nowadays. Uh, I mean, um, lots of business models, finance structures, the political structures around technology aren't like really working in the interest of individual people or society. And, and you know, that it, it's, it's nothing about the technology that makes it, you know, um, um, disadvan um, disadvantageous for the for society, but it's it's the way it's being applied. And these people are here because they say, "Look, I have these skills, I have these interests, I, I you know, I'm I'm in the finance structure or whatever, and, and I'm passionate about how technology can have a positive impact." Let let's talk about this. And then you know, we all of the sessions are um, uh, put in by the. Um, basically by the community. We, we do a reach out to the community. We say, what, what do you want to discuss? What do you want to share? And then, you know, even without, you know, we don't have to pick out the rotten apples. It's, it's almost exclusively relevant topics that the community brings to our conference. And you know, I think this this topic is timely. Um, the, in the closing statements, we we heard we heard both um, Alexandra and Bruce uh, calling for um, more collaboration, also like a political, almost be that this becomes a political field, um, and it really resonates with the audience. Yes. Well, so you already mentioned uh, the, the the closing statements, etc. Is can, can you add something to that, or did, did, are there certain things that uh, um, that you felt that were well, a widespread uh, amongst the audience uh, during the, after the, the past two days? Uh, yeah, well, I think we, we, we really, in the beginning, were discussing what would be the theme, theme for this year and how we should... Uh, with this responsible theme is, of course, with something we do for maybe two years, a little bit uh, stressed that uh, very much, but we wanted to also have it more like... Uh, make it more into what, what really... Uh, make it more practical at ethics in practice what what are if you really are making these stuff not only thinking about it not only talking about it so we had a lot of sessions that were about that but about 
where, where with manufacturing, with security issues, all the sort of stuff that you really, uh, if you are a practitioner, uh, practitioner, how do you say practitioner. that? Practitioner. <laughs> practitioner, thank you. It's late. Uh, what, what do you run, run into? And I think that, that works out very well, and you see that also back in the, uh, in the closing talks. And, and, well, it is a community event, as Marshall says, and I think that's, that's really, yeah, we really felt that at the end, that people really, yeah, bring that over also, yeah. So did you did you come across an, an expected uh, kind of uh, idea of, of, or a proposal or anything that you thought, okay, wow, I, I was not thinking about this, but this is an insight or an idea that, uh, that, is, that is really appealing to me? Yeah. One-liners, that's not my thing. Mm. Okay, <laughs> we go to Marshall. So Marshall. Do, I, do I have to pack it in one-liners? Do one a one-liner, <laughs> do a one-liner. <laughs> all right, um, all right. If, if there's one thing, one big takeaway for me this year was that um, like we should start dreaming again. We should start to think big instead of looking back and reflecting and worrying and feeling miserable. You know, we should look at what we have in technology or maybe what we even don't have yet, but look forward to, you know, to be, to have an aspirational application of technology or look, look at our human aspirations and see if technology can help us with that. And that was, to me, an important Important message, uh, Tobias mm -hmm. Revel this morning already started with this, but it, it came back in different, in different sessions, different talks, different conversations we had over lunch, and I think it's important. It's no, it's important. a good thing, because if you talk about privacy and security, then, then all of a sudden uh, uh, you can get into a narrative that is negative, that is uh, about fear. And, mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, and we, have, we have suffered from, from this in, in the past, also with our events that, you know, accidentally you would have like a whole block of speakers, you know, raising their fingers, uh, you know, crying out about, and, and I was one of them. I, 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 by some moments, I still am. But yeah, no, that, 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 that's definitely a danger. Um, and, and, but you, you, know, felt, you felt some sort of a change uh, yes. uh, in the atmosphere. That, yes, uh, there was some positive. Towards a, a can-do mentality, uh, yeah, optimistic. More thing. aspirational. And I think that also activates people. Because if you warn, if you restrict, if you say, we cannot do this and this and this and this, you know, it, it, it doesn't help you to do, like what Eskanda said, like, um, what do you do? As a practitioner, I want to do something. And, and you know, we, we had some very good sessions and talks about, you know, mm -hmm. activating activating messages. And that's good, and that's needed, that's urgent. Yeah, oh, perfect. So it's come there, this, uh, um, we're talking about, well, aspirational, but also uh, 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 bigger and better. Uh, and so let's uh, move forward to next year. Is there gonna be a next uh, uh, thing called next year? Yeah, I think so, why not? Uh, <laughs> what, what kind of form, where, we don't know yet, but uh, we'll see. We have a, a new team member, Dries, you have probably interviewed him already. He will be uh, joining our team also, and, uh, and, and I use from Antwerp, of course, so we created the, uh, yeah, we the, don't have the good no, <laughs> name for it. Title work on the low, low countries, uh, whatever, that sounds a bit, uh, no, whatever, but. Yeah, some festivals festival called it Lowlands, but. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, exactly, yeah, well, well but, but anyway, we're already planning some of the salons, we already also do all that, uh, the food all that out the year, so we have already, uh, we're already talking in Rotterdam and, and Eindhoven and in, um, no. Some, somewhere else, in Amsterdam, of course, probably also. Comedy uh, night in Antwerp. And Antwerp, of course, comedy night. So we we spreading spreading these things. And also, maybe it's good to mention, the uh, we, have a, we have a lot of students this year, I think, more than, than ever, and student projects, and we had a student competition uh, yesterday. And I was talking to one of the lectors or tutors. Uh, they, they, uh, they already were talking about it, making this more into kind of a program or stuff. So it could be also growing that way. And that's very, very good. So it's going to be bigger. It's going to be more distributed. It's mm -hmm. going to be more embedded. It's yeah. going to be more hooked up and linked with uh, uh, universities and yeah. everything. So things con is here uh, uh, to stay. Yeah, yeah, yeah oh, that's, uh, that's good. Yeah. So um, that's, that's good news to, to end uh, this interview with. Um, uh, things con is, uh, is going to stay. Thank you, Iskander and Marcel, for, for joining me in this interview. Uh, I think we have one more left, uh, so stay tuned.